Recent activity at the Becker Apartments behind me has some concern. That concern is amplified because the apartments are right across the street from a school. There's been shootings, lots of activity. Um, my concerns are I have kids here. Melissa Brockman says the worry does not stop at her door. I'm going to go make another. There's kids that always do lemonade stands across the street over there on the corner. What if a bullet hit them? That's concerning. There are more kids to worry about. Fort Dodd St. Edmunds School sits across the street from the apartments. A few weeks ago, violence from the apartments appears to have landed inside a classroom. We did find a bullet hole in a window of the St. Edmund High School, one of the classrooms across the street. Fort Dodge police know how concerning that can be. They are working to eliminate future problems. We've kind of combated that a little bit with uh, uh, proactive patrols up there. We've actually called in extra officers to work on the weekends in that area as well. Chief Porter says the key to eliminating the problem is a proactive approach, an approach he says the owner of the apartments and his officers are embracing. And the officers that we aren't even calling them in, they're volunteering to come in to, to help out. Chief Porter is far from finished. On the agenda at Monday City Council meeting is a proposal to expand the downtown cameras to include the area of the Becker Apartments. In Fort Dodge, Marcus McIntosh, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.